Swing it to Leifer with 14 to shoot. Leifer goes right into the shot blocker and Daniels has his first block of the day. Three to shoot, Terrell puts up a three and he hits. Usual numbers of production and a lot had to do with Terrell getting most of the shots as there's Terrell again inside and he puts Yeshiva up 5-3 with 17.55 to play and in the first Halpert half. misses, but Leifer has the offensive board, a new 20 on the shot clock. Leifer backing down Daniels, he gets the block. But Gabriel Leifer, this senior from Lawrence, New York, recovers Money with that jumper, and he puts his team on top. Leifer inside, Daniels with his third block already. Reef into the game, driving baseline, gets it, and the foul. Ofek Reef, the 2020 Skyline Conference Rookie of the Year, will go to the line to complete a three on the shot clock for Penn State Harrisburg. They're trying to get it in. They do get it in, and a block from Leifer down low. He denied Clinton to saw you. Reef the other way, lays it in to tie Nine the game. boards already for Leifer. Yeah, he had 24 in the Max Championship game. Halpert gets that one to roll home, and the Max take a two-point lead. explain why the Penn State would dig deep to the bench. And that shot is up and good. Simha Halpert with a three. He's a sharp shooter. And Reef has the steal. Reef to the rim and lays it in. And the lead up to four for the Max. Yeah, Ofek Reef, eight points for the Maccabees, four for four from the floor. They go back on top by one. Pedro Rodriguez having a nice day. And that's just Terrell with a cut. And Terrell on the other end with a finish. Halpert go to Leifer. And there's a block from Baylor Carroll, but Leifer gets the offensive board. It's more of a matchup zone. They'll go to Leifer. He goes to the rim. And we're going back and forth offensively. For 19 when not taking threes, but they're four from eight from outside. And Terrell gets himself open and Harrisburg hits the floor. back into man-to-man. -man. Halpert gives off to Katz. He got Daniels in the air, and a big play by Katz. Listen, he does not win the athleticism matchup with Daniels. He does not win the length matchup, but right there, he makes a smart play and gets him into the air and gets him his third foul. Donnie Katz, the basketball IQ man for the Max, and he just pump faked, and Daniels has three fouls, and that is trouble for Leifer, he's got the mid-range if he wants it. Instead, goes to the corner, and the three goes down. Aton Halpert answers Great with a long ball. so far. Inside, Katz puts it in. Yeah, another pump fake for Donnie Katz. Did not draw the foul, but did draw the defender off his feet and make that two much easier. But just like Baylor Carroll, take it with any sliver of space. And Halpert hits a three in the corner. Aton Halpert goes right at Curry. Reverse layup, and he got it to go. High degree of difficulty there. Go to Terrell. He drives baseline, pulls up, tough shot. Got it. Just before the buzzer, Ryan Terrell, a contested jumper on the baseline for two, and it's a six-point Yeshiva lead here at the half. Starting this second half with the three personal fouls as Terrell hits the floater on the other end. has been the hot hand for Penn State Harrisburg. Halpert looking to answer. Got it. Aton Halpert. Responds with a three for Halpert now, as now he takes it away at half court. Pick the pocket of Zagary Scott and scores on the other end. Yeah, it's something which he did a few times on Friday against WPI, known for those steals, active hands. 11 for points for Pedro Rodriguez starting in this one as Halpert gets the shot to go inside. Lifer against Rodriguez. He's got a size advantage and banks it home. Largest lead for the Max now at 11. 96 in double overtime in this building last night. As a corner three goes down for Aton Halpert. Can't leave him open. He extends the lead back to 10. Against Halpert, and Halpert just took it. And Baylor Carroll gets three plus the foul. Most likely the deciding factor down the stretch. Halpert goes right inside and scores against Curry. Curry really didn't contest that layup, and the lead is back and to He's just pushing. On the other end, Terrell hits a three. It's right back to nine. They're into that zone still. Reef, wide open layup, and the lead has gone right back to 11. Good defense. Back cut, Terrell, got it. That's where Yeshiva is so dangerous. Backdoor cuts against the zone. In the post, couple spins, Halpert open, wing three, got it. Yeah, and he does that little fake to Ofek Reef in the corner. That means that no hand's gonna be in his face because the defender's going to Reef, and Halpert just knocks down the open three in the max once again Double up 11. Overtime win over Hopkins yesterday. Halpert open again, you just can't leave him open. He's too good of a shooter, and Yeshiva has its largest lead. Scott, to his right, goes into Katz. Offensive foul. Yeah, that's what he was trying to do earlier. Donnie Katz, known for taking charges. He just sat Lifer there. Lifer inside to Katz. 
Probably doesn't want to shoot on the shot blocker. And the floater goes instead for Harrisburg, help. if Baylor Carroll is not able to get open looks, will need to go to Curry down the stretch. Reef down low, just a size advantage on Baylor Carroll, and he gets two. Yeah, and he has not only a size advantage, but he's got hops. He plays like he's 6'5", despite just being 6'1". As Clinton saw you, thought he might have had it. Terrell, they just left him. You can't, and he hits. Yeah. Terrell's an assassin. The Max are up 19. Their bench is into this game, and Penn State Harrisburg is in massive it's trouble. Slipper can still potentially fit for one of the Cinderella teams in the tournament Second so half. far. Lifer goes up, Reef, and he didn't quite get the dunk, but he puts it in. Yeah, that's a Maccabee special. Halpert wide open again. If you shoot the ball like this team does, you look through the bracket. They've got some great teams ahead of them if they keep winning. But nobody's going to beat you if you shoot over 60%. Of it. He really took the game into his own hands last night. He's trying to do the same tonight. Just the same shots haven't fallen. Simcha Halpert. No good. Terrell with a follow slam. Putting the exclamation point on what looks like a win for the match. Two good offensive teams, and the shots just haven't fallen as much for the Nittany Lions today as Donnie Katz will get an easy Show two. up here to Baltimore in the first round. Everyone was pretty much just waiting and salivating at a potential Hopkins-Yeshiva so matchup. It certainly was to get to the tournament, and not only did they accomplish that, beating the sixth team in the country here in Baltimore. It's just amazing for Coach So Friday. with the time running down here, that'll do it from Baltimore. The Yeshiva Maccabees, for the first time in school history, are headed to the Sweet 16 with a 102-83 victory over Penn State Harrisburg.